Hi everyone, welcome to victoriapiking.com or easy recipes with a twist.com. It depends how you want to find me. Uh, and today I want to talk to you about how to organize and how to prepare to picnic, campings, and etc. with minimum things to uh, to take, but with maximum uh, impact and with healthier choices out there. I know that picnic and camping. We tend to eat a lot of junk, but in my book, I don't like junk, and you know it. So, stay with me and I will show you what I took, and how I organized it, and how it works. So, stay tuned. You have to understand, I'm already on my camping. I'm just showing you how it looks inside my car. But it's nice. Say hi. You see, this is the ca camper's cabin, really nice and small. Let's talk about food and how I'm organizing it. I'm taking something that we all love. This is natural focaccia croutons. This is something that I wouldn't uh, use on a daily basis, but it's really good in salad and soup. More of healthier stuff. This is coffee, decaf coffee. I'm always taking it with me. I love those ones. You see, this is stuffed vegetarian uh, eggplants and wine leaves. And I have, I think, zucchini. I think this is really good option for food. Here's zucchinis. It's really good option for food. You just open it and you can eat it. Really nice. I love eggplant deep ajwar really nice and it can hold for a long time so it's not a problem to take to hold them outside pasta uh, try to find the pasta this is really nice and small or thin that it's cooked very fast you don't need pasta that cooks long time this is couscous i'm just covering it with the hot water or broth this is the broth the broth cube that I'm using for couscous. This is no salt added vegetable bouillon cubes. Really nice with couscous together. Make it easy meal. This is classical pesto. And again, I'm taking it in a jar. I like it to be done fastly and I don't need refrigeration for this one. This is baba ganoush eggplant deep really nice of course with all those I love crackers the crackers that I'm usually taking I'm taking those organic crackers vegetable flavored try to find something really nice non GMO with not a lot of uh, ingredients I always take a lot of tuna light tuna in oil packed in oil uh, just because all the good oils are best preserved in oil and not in water. Be aware of it. If you buy tuna, try to buy it in oils. And try to buy it in sunflower oil and not in canola oil or soybean oil. They are just highly genetically modified crops. So buy in sunflower oil. What else? I am always like to, to take with me some kind of um, organic pre-made soup just to preheat it because here in BC, let's say now, if you see there is rain and it's always a good thing to drink some kind of warm cup of warm uh, soup, it always makes me feel good. Yes, at what, and what I'm doing, I'm taking pasta with uh, pesto and mixing it with tuna. And it comes very beautifully, very simple and beautiful dish just to throw together and uh, done. Another thing, this is my son's choice. And if you, if you see, it's natural colors. So I'm not giving him too many of those, just on camping and etc. So try try to find something that people love without 
too many additives and junk. Another thing that I love to bring, it's some kind of bean. Beans with soy sauce or a little bit of, just to add a little bit of beans to pasta makes all the difference. And, and for sure you have to bring something like that everyone enjoys and loves, like this chocolate, raisins and hazelnuts, which I love, or dark chocolate, which my son actually loves, absolutely adores it. He's seven years old and he loves dark chocolate more than everything else. As well, I'm bringing... This is marzipan covered with chocolate. My family loves it. I don't like marzipan at all, but everyone else will enjoy it. And last but not least, I love to bring gnocchi with truffle. It's really nice, really easy, easy to make. It's take them to cook about three to five minutes and they are done. Okay, and this is my cooler. First law in my book, you have to freeze everything that you can freeze. I'm freezing bread, pita, and everything I could uh, freeze. Even sandwiches, already pre-made sandwiches, are frozen. I love those to take to my hiking trips and uh, everywhere, so they will hold for a couple of days for sure. Uh, second of all, I'm buying something like this, pasteurized and closed, like uh, guacamole here. I love it as a sandwich uh, spread. And hummus dip. This way. And here I love cheese. And frozen tartalini. I'm just freezing this pack of tartalini. And on the bottom I have in layers frozen meats. I'm bringing um, hot dogs for my sunny boy. And as you see, it's natural. And it's really good quality hot dogs. I'm not sure that you see, but here on the bottom, here, this one, I have frozen um, marinated um, chicken thighs. I'm uh, placing them in marinade, marinade, then inside the uh, cooler bag, freezer bags, like Ziploc and etc. And then I'm freezing it in one layer. So, they are going to defreeze very well, and I'm topping it with ice on the bottom and on the top, and it holds for three days for sure, even for five days in cooler weather. This is how I'm cooking. I'm reheating it and preheating it with this little burner. It's really nice. I like it. You see? I'm just making pasta in here, everything I'm making on this one little one. I hope it was helpful. I hope all the organization skills and uh, cans and frozen stuff, it makes sense to you. And um, I will make a lot of footage on this trip and I will post it later. But, and sorry for the noise, it's my friend here that makes all the noise in the world. And um, see you after the trip with amazing, amazing footage. And I think I'm not going to post next week or next um, three days. I see, I don't know if I, have a, if I will have good connection. So, see you. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up me and cheers, Victoria. See you next time.